What is up, family? Welcome back to Manifest Faith. My name is Brianna. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a new message every Friday. And um, today I am coming to you live from quarantine. So if you hear like a child cry or something that is my family being alive and healthy out there, <laughs> but I'm in here. So I'm getting over it. I'm fine. It's cool. Um, and that's also why I sound a little different. But we're going to make it. So today we're going to be talking about the lie that you need to stop believing in 2021 in order to be successful for the kingdom of God. So have you ever said to yourself, wow, I'm a failure or I suck or this didn't work out because I didn't get it right? We'll stop that. You need to stop that <laughs> because you are not a failure. If you were a failure, that would mean that God has made a mistake and that is literally impossible. God can't make mistakes. He don't even know what that is. <laughs> God made everything on this earth and then said, it is good. Genesis 3, just kidding. Genesis 1, 31 says, God saw all that he had made and it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. And so, no, you're not a failure. However, you might be like, but Brie, I keep trying all these different things and they just aren't working out. Okay, well, I have a question for you. If you tried all those different things, did you ask God if you're supposed to be doing those before you tried them? Or did you just be like, oh, this person does it so I could do it or oh I've got skills in this area so then that means that this must be my calling. Each of us were created with different skills and talents and it's important that we spend time in God's presence in order to understand which skills and talents are supposed to lead us into our destiny are supposed to be used for our destiny. In 1 Corinthians 12 4 through 7 it says there are different kinds of gifts but the same spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone is the same God at work. Now to each one, the manifestation of the spirit is, is given for the common good. So since each of us have been given different gifts by the spirit, which is God, we need to be able to spend time with God so that we can discover what gifts he has given us and for what purpose he has given us. When you get to know God, you will get to know yourself and therefore you'll be able to walk in your calling and you will be able to have the success that you are seeking. Now success, as Dr. Tony Evans has put it, for a Christian is fulfilling the will of God. It's doing what God has placed you on this earth to do in order to expand his kingdom for his glory and the greater good of mankind. I think is like perfect. Like that makes so much sense. <laughs> because when you're in the world, success looks like money, cars, fancy clothes, a nice house, all this material stuff that's going to be eaten up by moss anyways, ain't going to go nowhere when you die. But for a Christian, success is being able to know what God has called you for, knowing God and being able to help those around you in need. And it is so fulfilling. Like, let me just tell you, it's so fulfilling. And you might be thinking like, okay, Brie, that's great, cool. But what about all this time, energy, money that I've wasted on these other things? Well, I mean, we can't get the past back, but we can change our perspective on the past. So instead of looking at it as, wow, I did all this stuff and I'm still a failure, I'm nowhere else in life, I haven't advanced, what we should do is change our perspective and see those things as stepping stones. For me personally, I've been in a lot of random jobs and you can check out my testimony more in depth on my Instagram at manifest underscore faith, um, where I talk about all the different jobs I've had. but. Each one of those has been a stepping stone into my purpose. Like each one of them, the sales, the coaching, the management, all of it has been a stepping stone.
And that's why it's important to change our perspective so that we can look at those as stepping stones to our destiny. Think about it. The people in the Bible didn't just appear into their purpose. Moses, he was tending to the sheep in the wilderness before he brought Israel out of Egypt into the wilderness. Like he had already been familiar with that kind of atmosphere and knew how to lead the people through that because he had been tending the sheep in the wilderness. Um, Noah had to build an ark for years, bro, and get ridicu ridiculed by all these people before God sent the rain and he walked out his purpose of saving all the animals and rebuilding humankind. Also, David had to be a shepherd, a lowly little shepherd before he faced Goliath and he had to fight lions before he faced Goliath. Like, and then he became a great king because he knew how to lead and shepherd properly. Like, it's none of it's a waste of time if we look at it from God's perspective. I mean, Jesus had to build decks before he started his ministry. So maybe not necessarily decks, but come on, he was a carpenter. Come on, y'all. But that just goes to prove that God can take all things and work it out for our good. Even if you look back at it and you're like, Ooh, I don't see no fruit from that. That's okay. Don't count God out because maybe the fruit just hasn't appeared yet, but trust God in all things and know that he works all things out for our good. And like I said, I've been there y'all. I'm not just telling you stuff that I have no experience in because that would be quite ridiculous. Um, you can, again, check out my testimony to see some of the stuff that I've done. <laughs> so this year, instead of, you know, going hard on some goals that don't actually line up with who you're meant to be in God, um, instead of planning out the entire year without asking God anything, I think it's important that we, you know, still in the beginning of the year, we take a step, we pause, we take a step back, we say, okay, God, what do you want me to do this year, Lord? What is it that you have for me? Who do you see me as? And when we get that perspective change and when we get that clarity from God, one, it's going to open up so many different doors, so many different avenues. Two, you'll have more clarity on what it is you're supposed to be doing. And even in the hard times, when you're like, feeling down and out you will still have something greater than yourself to pull you out of that mess but let me just tell you y'all that's helpful <laughs> and guess what you won't be a failure anymore so isaiah 54 4 says this is one of my favorites it says do not be afraid for you will not be put to shame do not fear disgrace you will not be humiliated you will forget the shame of your youth and remember no more the reproach of your widowhood. Isn't God so sweet, y'all? Like, he's just so sweet. <sighs> and remember this. This is a very important key. Everything is in God's control. So when we receive our, um, when we receive our orders, when we make the plans, we need to have them like this. My pastor told me, um, in a sermon, I think it was like last week. Yeah, last weekend. He was like, even though God gives it to you, you still need to have an open palm when you're holding on to it because it's still God's and he can change it or take it away at any time. And if he does that, we still need to believe that God is good and have faith that God works everything out for our good. Like random, random side note, coronavirus, okay? It has actually been a blessing to me personally because I've been able to recenter, refocus, um, rest. You know what I mean? So like even some of the worst things can be a blessing. So you just have to trust that God knows what he's doing at all times and have faith that even if he changes something that y'all planned out together, it's okay because God is perfect. So to sum up this sweet video, I guess, um, your three steps, your three actionable steps to success are stop speaking death over yourself because the power of death and life are in the tongue. Stop saying you're a failure. Two, 
get into God's presence and figure out who you are in him. Um, and three, do what God says. It's planning and preparation and hold it with open hands. Okay? So I hope that that was helpful to change your perspective. Join us next week for next week's topic. And like I said, you can follow me on Instagram at manifest underscore faith in order to go deeper into the topics. And I would love to connect with you and I'm building my family online and I would love for you to be a part of it. All right. Well, I will catch you next week. Oh, if you need prayer for anything, you can always hit me up either on Instagram or in the comments. You don't need to put any specifics because God knows what it's about. You just say, I need prayer. You dropped a little emoji, whatever. I love you. I will talk to you later, family. Bye.